solid, solid performance at the weekend. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough encounter. I think to get a a bonus point with the last play of the game was um, probably more than we would have hoped for, and uh, we were delighted to get a you know to get a five point haul and keep ourselves in the you know in the top four and keep ourselves being uh, competitive in that area. It's coming to the last, I suppose, six seven games of the season, and uh, particularly well, you beat the Dragons already this season well, and they're low down on the table. What what's your Kind of point of view or approach this season, this weekend. Yeah, I think it's been a really tough game. I don't think anyone, you know, goes to the Rodney Parade and, and, and wins easily. I, I, I mean, obviously last last time out, Glasgow went there and he put 60 points on them. But I know that uh, from being in Wales, you know, they're an extremely proud bunch. Uh, the Dragons, with, with you know, with very very loyal supporters, and I think that certainly the players will have a point to prove uh, in terms of uh, performing in front of their home crowd because, that, you know, they've said themselves that they were you know extremely disappointed by by that result. I see they went away to, to Zebra on the weekend and despite being 13-3 down, you know, showed some good resolve to come back and win 14-3. So we expect a really tough battle and you know, I don't think the Glasgow result has helped us at all in terms of, of Dragons preparation. And two games up after that in the Rabo, it's Ulster and um, Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we've got a, a little bit of a break after this one. So this is a really important four week block that, that, that we've uh, yeah, something that we've worked really hard on was this four-week block, and, and then we can reassess after that. But you know, the result on the weekend and the previous results, you know, away in um, Cardiff and and um, at home to Treviso, you know, we still have to go out and, and make sure that we uh, put in a big performance against the Dragons, which is what we're going to need to win the game. And how happy are you with the strength and depth that you've had? It's I think there's over 50 players have been selected so far this season. 51 we're at now with uh, Mark's um, Mark's appearance on the weekend, Mark Flanagan's appearance on the weekend, which is uh, a huge number. Um, but I think the good thing is, like you say, that the, the lads certainly take into it. We had four academy players, I think, starting the game uh, on the weekend. You know, and, and, and you know that's really good because they're all um, you know getting some experience at this level and, and they're beginning to adapt, which is you know which is great and it it, it all goes well for the future. Has that happened anywhere else? Do you know that no. many players? I don't know. Certainly, it's the most that we've had over sort of not since records began. But like we've been uh, <laughs> we've been keeping uh, sort of close records, you know, probably for the last five or six years, and and we've been up at fifty in a couple of times. But this is the first time that we've got to fifty-one, as far as I'm aware. Well, best look of the weekend for me. <laughs>
to, you know, to, to score the points that, that came along with that territory and that possession. I suppose after the uh, Argentina game and the start of the Six Nations against Wales, I suppose mm. the players get all the pr credit for the, for the big wins and then all the pressure comes on the coach and the coaching staff when a couple of defeats come their way. Yeah, and I think, you know, obviously even after the Wales game, like you say, people were talking about the England game as being a Grand Slam decider, but you know, the Six Nations is the Six Nations, are incredibly tough games, and uh, I think probably, you know, it's played, you know, by the, by, by the media, they, they also, you know, get it hyped up, and, you know, talking of the second game of the Six Nations, which the England game was being a, a Grand Slam decider is, you know, is probably a little bit premature, and, you know, they've gone to Scotland and, um, you know, and been, you know, been beaten, you know, closely, and uh, I think they'll be disappointed with the result, you know,